So I wanted to start this off and show you um, something that happened at the very end of the recording session that we did in August in 2009. All right, so my name is Lynn Morrow. I'm music director with Pacific Mozart Ensemble. And we would like to thank our new friends, Marina and Victor Ledeen, the whole team at Dorian, especially Dan Shores, Dan Mercurio, and Brandy Lane. And with my personal thanks to Dan Mercurio for being my link to the booth, and to everyone at Skywalker, especially Dan Thomas and Leslie Ann Jones. And now, a toast and a thank you to Dave Brubeck for his marvelous music. Hip it! Got a chance to see that. We were mm -hmm. really excited and really grateful to you for allowing us to record your music. <laughs> <laughs> the other way around, I'm grateful to you. Oh well, I'm 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 glad because I think it's really important for the world to get a chance to hear your music. Yeah. So I I want to talk about it a little bit um, because you have been a star for 50 years. You just won the Kennedy Center Honor, which is a great lifetime yeah. achievement. And uh, just in talking about the Songs of Praise, can we start with Canicles? Yeah. That's the largest piece on the CD and it starts it off. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I think that that's a good choice because uh, I like the way all the different Gregorian chants come in one on top of the other. Right. So. Yeah. So so when you were thinking about the piece, did you start with the idea of having three pieces uh, fitting together, or how did that start? It's always hard to know. Mm -hmm. When you start, you don't know where you're going to go. go you yeah. Know? Yeah. And you just keep working and hoping that a form or uh, something will materialize. Right. And uh, that, that's what happened with that. I didn't know I was going to put all those uh, Gregorian chants. So when you were thinking about it and, trying, and getting your inspiration, were you thinking about doing something that was based on songs of Mary and something religious? Well, yes. Uh, it uh, it was done for uh, a Catholic priest uh -huh. in his, uh, I don't want to call it a cathedral, but it's a nice big church. Right, okay. And uh, his name is Father Ron Brassard. Uh -huh. And uh, he was so apologetic because he said, Dave, I took out the canicles mm -hmm. uh, the last one when you had three stacked up right i thought it would be too muddy and mm. being that he's a, a musician i, I listened oh, okay. to him and when we just played it again in his church and he said dave i was so wrong <laughs> uh, that's fantastic the way that comes comes in is just great I apologize for taking it out <laughs> of the premiere. Yeah. Well, I, I'm really excited about the piece. It's three canticles. It starts with the really famous Ave Maria. Yeah. And uh, most everybody knows that theme. And then in the middle is the uh, Concordia Letizia, which is a very fun piece and has yeah. really jazzy rhythm in it. Yeah. Da, da, ba, da, da, da. Yeah. <laughs> And you recorded that piece on its own uh, instrumentally, right? With Yo-Yo Ma? Yeah. Yo-Yo <laughs> and my son, Matthew, yeah. who's a cellist. Yes. And uh, remarkably, they got together. My son, Matthew, went to his concert. Uh -huh. And then afterwards, he was talking with him. And Yo-Yo asked him, well, are you a cellist? And he said, yes, I'm 
kind of a jazz cellist. Uh -huh. He said, oh, please show me how to do some jazzy kind of things. Wow. So they went back to his hotel and spent hours. Really? Right on the spot? <laughs> right, yeah. That's amazing. And, yeah. And he's such a wonderful guy. He oh, really is. That's nice to And hear. my son, Matthew, he's uh, really a fantastic improviser. But he can sight read anything. That's great. So well, I shouldn't say anything, but so far he's done okay. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> uh, that's really great. Yeah. So um, we were talking about this right at the beginning um, because my goal for this CD was really to get allow everybody a chance to hear your sacred choral music because a lot of people don't know about it. Most people, right? <laughs> exactly. Yeah. conductor of a choir in London mm -hmm. who said uh, in an interview that he, he liked very much my sacred music and uh, somebody said well do you like his jazz and he said I didn't know he played jazz that's amazing. He must be the only person on the planet. <laughs> well, maybe it's going to reverse. There we go. <laughs> That's great. So, so in your mind, who should perform this music? I mean, one of the uh, thing about the choices of the music on the CD, so there, there's the canticles and a couple of other complicated pieces, but we put some more s simple pieces on there, too. Oh, yes. That, that surprised me. When uh, I heard the Christmas carols, uh -huh. a good surprise. Great. Because uh, a lot of people don't know about them. Right. <laughs> And then people think, oh, well, you have to be adult or very accomplished in order to do the music. But this gives some people who are a little bit more amateur, but they love it, a chance to do some Dave Brubeck music. Oh, yeah. And I, I like that new piece you did, the premiere. The Benediction. Isn't it? The Benediction. But the uh, sacred gifts. Oh, yes. <laughs> Yes. I think that's the first time, I know it's the first time it's been recorded. That's right. That's and that right. really thrilled me. Oh, I'm so happy. told Iola just before I came over here, you ought to come over. And she said, well, I have nothing to say. And I said, sacred gifts? Yes, and exactly. That's plenty to say. Well, she's been your librettist for a long time. She writes a lot of the texts. And how, so how does that work? Does she suggest something? Do you ask her about a topic? 